Hey, Leticia, how you doing? Okay, I've got your post up here. Uh, I just wanted to address one thing right here, and I, I just want to make sure that you understand that the vid including videos of your user testing um, sessions are not required. I, I mean, I recommend, I think it's going to be really super engaging and very compelling. And if you take a look at Steven's presentation right here, he included his, uh, he included videos of the user testing sessions, which I think is really super engaging. So just if you want to take a look at that, this is, uh, you, you, need to, you need to right click this to download it. If you open this PDF as a presentation within the browser itself, those will not be active. If you download this and open it in Acrobat, you'll, the, the videos are are active so you might want to take a look at that but I just wanted to make sure that you realize that it's not a requirement the videos are not a requirement they're a recommendation and something I think will will make the presentation very very visually engaging and very compelling so again not required but if you decide to uh, include videos make sure that they're not real long and uh, you'll have to embed them in a PDF and then uh, uh, I'll put that I'm sorry embed them in the InDesign document, I'll put that to PDF where, where you'll see them. It's really it's a super easy process, so I don't anticipate you have any problems should you elect to uh, continue in that vein. Um, okay, let's go ahead and jump over to the work itself. And I'm, I love this. I, I think you're doing such a good work here. Um, the presentation is phenomenal and it has been all along. So I just really want to commend you for that. I mean, you are taking your work and you're putting it in presentation format. You started that back in week two. So just fantastic job. Uh, layout, uh, typography, color palette are all outstanding. So great job. Good, good grid here. Good grid. Solid stuff here. Leticia, solid stuff. I think the one of the most effective things I'm seeing here is your digital wireframes. You've got them uh, kind of categorized in the student scenario, the parent scenario, and then the instructors or teacher scenario. So that's really an interesting approach. And I think it's very thorough, very complete. So excellent job there. Um, then we move down into your, your screen mockups. And again, that's just, that's good. Darn, darn, darn good stuff. <laughs> really fantastic. And again, we've got the screens looking at the student scenario, the parent scenario, and the teacher scenario. So again, really fantastic stuff. The only recommendation here in your, your, your mock-ups and the way that your screens look is that you, you some of these screens are just gorgeous. Most of your, your graphics are really gorgeous. My only concern is these, these pages with the gray in the background. They're not as visually compelling as the other pages. Okay, that's a gorgeous page right there. There's no question. There's no 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 slicing or dicing. That is gorgeous. This is a little bit stark in terms of visual engagement. So this is what I'm talking about is these, this light background and this gray background. You may consider um, an addition of a color, maybe a muted color. I'm not saying turn this into a kaleidoscope of colors because I think you're already using a lot of colors, which is great because I think it's it's indicative of the subject matter as well as uh, the target. So that's fantastic. So I don't want you to turn this into a kaleidoscope of colors, but I do want you to reassess um, the, the use of gray in, in those background areas. Um, okay, so where are we? So uh, week four, our uh, process book is due. We also, uh, week five, the uh, clickable prototype is due. And then also we start the project in week five, the group project. So be sure to take a look at week four announcement. I've, I've uh, established teams and I've assigned teams for the group project that'll take us through the end of the course, starting from week five. So if you want to take a look at that, just to kind of preliminary, take a look and see what, what group you're in. Um, and then we've also got deliverables and due dates in, in the week four announcement. So I just want, just want to take a quick look at that, make sure that you're, uh, everything that is required is included in your presentation. All right, great job, really loving it, man. If you have any questions at all, Leticia, please feel free to let me know. I'll be glad to clarify anything that I've said in this video or in previous um, critiques. Um, so just let me know. All right. Really good job. Thanks so much for sharing.